I love a good oxymoron. Here's a few of them for you about pretty ugly or found missing or the always questionable Great Depression. Speaking of depression, I've got another one for you. It's turkey bacon. Those two words should never belong together, but luckily Jack's here. He's gonna educate me on turkey bacon and let us know which brand is worth buying. I love the way you think. This is an oxymoron. Mm -hmm. uh, there are actually two paths to turkey bacon, and I'm not gonna say turkey bacon greatness. Okay, uh, okay. Because that would be another oxymoron. I will temper my <laughs> expectations. How about that? You should definitely temper your expectations. Okay. I mean, I will say that of all of the people who work here at America's Test Kitchen, no one loves bacon more than you. It's kind of true. So before you start tasting, or if you want to start tasting, it's sure, up to you. Sure. Let me explain. There are two different ways to make turkey bacon, and I have raw strips here. One is they use ground meat. They grind up the dark meat, they grind up the white meat, they add the seasonings, the brine. It's like cake batter that they layer into a pan and then slice. That would be this style here with ground meat. Okay. The other starts with chunks of turkey thigh one or two inch pieces that they put in a tumbler and they add all the spices, they add the brine, and then they press it all together in a mold. Hmm, that okay. would be more like maybe Canadian bacon. Sure, okay. So this didn't actually impact our overall ratings. Oh, okay. So we liked some of each, if you can use the word liked, of each style. The bigger thing was about flavor. All right. How close they came. Now as you're tasting, think about what does bacon give you? It gives you meatiness, it gives you salt, gives you smoke, gives you sweetness. And preferably- I'd add one more thing to that. One more thing? Drippings. Drippings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not getting any drippings all right, here. All right, all right. Um, which I wanna talk about. Um, the biggest thing that we probably wanted from these samples and what separated the winners, and I would also put that in quotation marks <laughs> from the losers, is um, a lack of defects. Some of these had some weird, weird flavors mm -hmm. that did not hit with salt, smoke, sugar, or meat. Um, and so if you are tasting these and picking up something odd, your taste buds <laughs> are working. Um, okay. There are some odd flavors in here that don't belong in any bacon made with any kind of meat. Interesting. Think about cooking and the drippings. We were cooking these per the manufacturer's instructions in a dry skillet. We strongly recommend that you actually put a little bit of vegetable oil in that skillet. You'll get better contact between the meat and the pan, better browning. So, you're enjoying yourself, I can tell. Well, it's meat, right? I'm gonna give it that. Uh, to, it's salt. To, to compare it to bacon, I'm not even gonna say pork bacon. Bacon, by default, comes from the belly. Last time I looked at a turkey's belly, there was nothing that looked like this that came from that area. Oh, it was <laughs> just a bunch of feathers. <laughs> They're all quite hammy, not as bacony. That's definitely for sure. Yeah, I think if you grew up eating Canadian bacon, these get closer to that sure. definition. So anything that you are, I'm not sure I should use the word liking, but anything that is more appealing. Okay, well, this is not appealing, but this is almost like plasticine. You know, it's just rubbery. It's almost stretchable as I was chewing it. Like food should not stretch as I'm eating it. Not not fan of that one. This one is, uh, quite Canadian bacony, as to use a word. I long for Christmas, I long for crunch, I long for a little bit of fat in my bacon. It feels very lean. So one time, I ordered eggs out, and it came out, and I said, what is that? What was the taste in it? Somebody had left a cigarette on my dish. That's what that tastes like. Okay, so. Um, so I don't like that one. Okay. <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> I'm gonna say you can never ever have bacon again and you're only eating turkey bacon the rest of your life. Which one are you choosing? Uh, I would eat the plate underneath it, but if I had to choose, probably this one. You wanna see what you chose? Yeah. Well, you agree with the expert panel. This is the winner in quotation marks from Welshire Farms. It is a chunk style, the kind that's tumbled. It's... You can see the meat in there. I think that's yeah. what appealed to me. So this one is only made with turkey thigh. Uh, there's no white meat in it. And there are no horrible defects with mm -hmm. that. It's not close to real bacon, but there are no defects. Now, what is this one that has the little curled serrations here? Um, that was at the bottom of the rankings. It's from Butterball, so they know from turkey. Yep. I'm not sure they know from bacon. Right, right. Um, they're like turkey, smoked turkey ribbons. Would have actually been a great name. Then they wouldn't have had to compare it to bacon. And then this one? Uh, so this is from Jenny O. This was actually the runner-up. Too um, smoky. Like too ashy, too smoky. Not my favorite at all. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You didn't 
hate all three of them. It's so true. But if these were the only things left in the world, my BLT would quickly become an LT. On that happy note. <laughs> well, if you love turkey bacon, and I know so many of you do, well, why don't you try out our winner? It's Welshire All Natural Uncured Turkey Bacon, $6.99 for a 12 ounce package. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.